Hey guys, welcome back to the Homestead Adventure. Today I'm going to show you how to make rabbit foot keychains. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna take our rabbit foot and we're gonna cut right below the joint here. There's the joint that where the foot meets the leg. We're gonna cut right below that so we have a nice straight piece to work with. And I'm gonna cut that with pruners to snip the bone. Okay, and then we're gonna take scissors to cut the rest off. So just like this. And then I got a nice straight top on there. And next thing we're going to do is we're gonna wash these with soap and water. Now I use uh, the back foot and the front foot. So the back ones you need to snip that off. The front feet though, are pretty much already done here. So we don't really need to do much of that unless you did cut it wonky. So we're gonna do all of these and then we're going to wash them. So next we're gonna wash them with some warm soapy water and just really get in there and work the soap in because you know, these guys were standing on these feet so they're dirty. Really get in there and scrub her. Now when it looks all clean, make sure you rinse it really well. Get all the soap out. Once you've rinsed it, squeeze it dry. Make sure you get as much of the water out as you can. And after that, we're going to put it in our alcohol solution. So next I'm gonna put them in mason jars in 70% alcohol. I'm gonna let them soak for 48 hours. You want to make sure they're all covered. Just have barely enough. Then we're going to cover these. And just leave them on the counter for 48 hours. Okay, so the rabbit feet have been in the alcohol for 48 hours. So now it's time to take them out of this and rinse them really well and then squeeze them dry. Doesn't matter if you use warm or cold water. Just rinse them. Squeeze it dry. And you're gonna do that with all of them. Okay, so now I rinsed and squeezed the feet dry, so we're putting them back in our clean jars. It doesn't come out. Got them back in our jars now. And we're gonna put a, a sprinkle a quarter cup of borax on top. Is so here is this? the borax we use. Yeah, it's a little chunky, so. We're gonna just put that right on top here. Another white. Looks like baking powder. Doesn't have to be exactly a quarter cup, just, just as long as they're sprinkled on top. And then we're gonna fill this with water. We're gonna fill all the way to the top. So now we're gonna put the tops on. Yep. And shake it up. So get all the borax solution in there. There we go. So now we're gonna let these sit on the counter for another 24 hours. Here's what they look like. So now our feet have been in the borax solution for 24 hours, and the next step is to rinse them really well again. And then I'm gonna place them in a bowl of water to just kind of continue the rinse, and then we're going to hang them to dry. Make sure you're really scrubbing the 
get all that borax out. You'll be able to feel when it's all out because it's really gritty. You just don't want it any residue. Then it just has a weird film on it and you don't want that. Are you serious? Mama hmm? left the Okay, so now we've got our feet um, soaking in the water after we rinse them. And now we're going to hang them on some slip knots here. I'm just using some butcher twine. And we're going to take the feet out of the water. Squeeze out as much water as you can. And then just hang them from a slip knot. And I'm just using a, a shoe rack to hang these. Works really well. Normally I hang these outside, but it's dark out right now. It's nighttime, so it would be hard for me to show you this outside. So, but you can hang them inside, but I have cats, so you know how that goes. So I will probably move these outside after I hang them. So now that they are all hanging to dry, we're going to leave them on here until they're completely dry and that could take about two days. Okay, so now that our feet are dry, we are going to put the top on. So what I do is I take these jingle bells and I pry it open like this. And what I do is I use a pair of like needle nose pliers and I put some tape around the edge, but I am the worst at organizing. So I lost my needle nose pliers. So I'm just using some regular ones and I also lost my tape. So <laughs> I just put like some labels on here, something that's um, to put over your pliers so that you don't scratch the metal. Um, but what I did for these ones is I actually just started opening it with a butter knife and then used the pliers to um, to open it a little bit more. So I'm just gonna pry it open. I just got these off of Amazon. You can also get them from you know craft stores. And then take out the little ball thing in the middle and then just Keep prying it open until it fits. Um, don't pry too far back, um, cause then you can kink it and then it's just not gonna look very nice. Kind of pull it open until it's open and then we can fit it onto the foot. So you wanna make sure that it fits before you do anything. So this one fits here. And then we're going to put it on with some epoxy. So I've got my epoxy solution here and then I'm just gonna put it on a plate and stir um, these two things together for about 20 seconds. And my cat keeps trying to take the foot. Try not to get it on your skin because it's very sticky. <laughs> Professor Grimsworth, stop it. And we're gonna mix it together for 20 seconds. I'm just using a popsicle stick. We're gonna take the epoxy and put it right in to the bell. All right, and then we're going to place it on top where you want it. Nice and, it's nice and tight, so good there. All right. And we got her on top. 
And I'm gonna let this dry for 24 hours. And then um, I'll put the ball chain on. I would do that right now, but I, um, I just ordered some because I ran out of connectors. So I just ordered some from Amazon. So we're gonna let this dry for 24 hours. And then once it's all the way dry, then we'll take our pliers with the tape around it and then squeeze it shut to make it a little bit more secure. So this is a fresh one, so it's still a little, um, still a little flexible. Here's a finished rabbit foot that I did a few months ago. Um, I just put like a little ball chain on it. And this one's like stiff now. There's no, um, there's no give to it. And there we go. That is how to make rabbit foot keychains. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next adventure. Bye guys.